Okay, we are back with another Patreon suggested video, and I'm going to call out Andreas Olsen. So thank you very much, Andreas, for uh, supporting me. Uh, if you want to support my channel and suggest your own videos, uh, you can do so below. I've left the link there. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this one. <laughs> The Silicone Veil by Suzanne Sundor, or Sun, yeah, Sundor. Uh, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Suzanne is a Norwegian singer, songwriter. Her vocal work is hauntingly beautiful. I could not stop gushing of the amount of emotion and raw power that she had. And you can feel every little ounce of emotion that she's pouring out within this. But what I also really enjoy about this album is the electronical presentation and the grand scale of things within this album. Like there are a lot of moments that just really build to such great crescendos. But there are also a lot of moments on this album that are very small and intimate as well. Diamond starting us all off, really slowly building it and building it, setting the atmosphere, getting us used to Suzanne's vocal work, and then just really just adding that extra little flourish and that just exploding everything around it provides a great dynamics and a great opening for this album. And I love how this all blends within a great rhythm style. It's really rocking, it's really grooving. It doesn't sacrifice that pump up and go style with such an intimate presentation within the vocal work. So I like how Diamonds really does a great job of grabbing the intention right off the get go and holding on to you. And then White Foxes presents more of that haunting atmosphere. So if Diamonds was much more of that bombastic showcasing us with fireworks, White Foxes is much more of like a very intimate play that's being presented there. And it's the rhythm style that we have on there and the harmonizations that we have with Suzanne's vocal works in and around that. When she refrains that White Foxes over and over again, it's so... I keep using this, but it is so haunting within that. Now, unfortunately, after we get through White Foxes, the album does start to fall victim to a lot of albums that kind of utilize this tech technique um, and I start to tap out. Even though Rome, the third track on this album, is still very like good, it, it does start to, for me, I start to lose interest. And maybe it's just because it's starting to become a little bit more repetitive. Uh, it's not really covering a whole lot of new ground that we haven't already heard from White Foxes. It does feel like a very big foil to that. Even though I still like how that electronical work within the synthesizer is coming in, I just feel like it's not really doing anything all that new or exciting at that point. I mean, it doesn't also help that it is the longest track off of this album, and it's almost like seven minutes, and I don't really feel like it's justified at being that. Like, the big buildup by the end of it doesn't feel all that... Like, it doesn't reach that same pinnacle that Diamonds had. And unfortunately, this is also followed up with Can You Feel the Thunder? And with a, with a title like Can You Feel the Thunder... I don't feel, <laughs> I don't really feel it. Uh, it's it's a very intimate track. It's a very somber track. It's it's Suzanne and the piano and how the two are interplaying between the two of themselves. And there's nothing a whole lot to grab onto. And unfortunately, this also blends right into meditation in an emergency. At two and a half minutes, it doesn't really do anything. It is kind of the centerpiece of the album. It does ground the album, but I don't feel like it really needs too much grounding when the last couple of tracks really did that. The energy does start to pick up a little bit more with Among Us, and I like that that sound that's going on in the background, that uh, it's, it's like an electronical sound. And I thought that was kind of cool. It does pick up the step a little bit. My mind does kind of snap back into reality. I'm like, oh, there it is. Yeah, we're listening to music. Uh, but by this point, I'm also... I, I've already got kind of one foot out the door. So then when we come into the cynical, the cynical, the silicone veil, uh, the title track, uh, again, it, it, I like the, the, the rhythm and flow. I like where this song goes at just over about five minutes. It does have a, a nice little wash and it does feel like you're kind of on a boat in that sense. But again, we, we do feel like we're a little bit lost at sea. Like I don't have any real grounding or real perch to get onto this. Uh, and now that we're coming into kind of the latter half of the album, that one foot out the door is starting to be a full body kind of shimmy shammy out. Win and Stop, Don't Push the Button are almost interchangeable. I don't feel all that connected to these guys. And if Silicone Veil was like me shimmy shammy my whole body out of it, these two tracks just make me leave entirely. And it's not 
because the sounds aren't great. It's just that I'm not all that invested in it. Uh, so by the time we get into the last track of your prelude, even though I love the little piano work that we have on this, that little sprinkling that we have, I'm already checked out, unfortunately. Like that big grabbing on that Diamonds and White Foxes had at the beginning, the, the energy is kind of lost on me by the end there. And it is a little bit of a shame because I do appreciate and I love the music that's being found on this album, but it's not enough for me to actively come back. Like I might take Diamonds and White Foxes and put it on a, a, a mix that I'll go back to, but I don't know if I would come back to this album as a whole. So. Overall, this album, it has some great moments on it. I love Suzanne's vocal work. I love her production work. I love her musicianship on it. And I like that blending of a very intimate vocal work with all these really fun synthetic and symphonic sounds that we have on it. Uh, unfortunately, it does suffer a little bit of running out of steam once we get past the halfway mark, or even just before the halfway mark. So, unfortunately, this is one that is ultimately forgettable. Um, if this is your kind of thing, definitely go and check it out. This is still one that I would recommend checking out, but only if this is the type of music that you like to listen to. But that's about it for The Silicone Veil by Suzanne Sunderford. What did you guys think? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Have a listen and let me know of your own thoughts by commenting down below. Again, I need to give a really big special thank you to Andreas Olsen for supporting my channel and recommending or not just recommending, but forcing me to listen to this album. Uh, no, I loved my time that I spent with it. And even though it was a challenge, it was still a good challenge. And if you want to donate to my uh, little video endeavor that I've got going on here, recommend albums, force me to listen to something, uh, you can do that by clicking the link down below. Uh, so thank you all for watching. Uh, you guys are obviously and definitely the best. And until next time, notes out.